Depending on what part of town, what kind of house or apartment building you live in, lead can be incredibly pervasive in your environment. It's a heavy metal, people have mined it and used it like crazy for centuries, and now you don't just get exposed to it through old pipes and paint, we know about those. You'll also find it in the soil, the water itself, even the air you breathe. And the funny thing about lead is that it mimics other elements your body actually needs, for example, calcium. Humans, especially young, growing ones, need calcium to grow bones and teeth, but it also plays a big role in neurological development, the brain, the nervous system. When lead takes the place of the calcium, these things come under attack along with the liver, kidneys, bone marrow, and other organs, and it's a battle your body is not equipped to fight. Your immune system will fight bacteria and viruses, your digestive system will take on bad things you might eat, but this toxic metal masquerading as a nutrient gets past all that, settles in, and causes damage that's mostly irreversible. The immediate symptoms are often behavior related, which makes them very easy to misdiagnose. This happens all the time. So the bottom line is, the most important single thing you can do to combat lead contamination is to spot the possible sources of lead in your environment, take whatever steps you can, and avoid it.